You see, many of you may have just watched it. But although it attracts more than 5 million viewers a day, the corporation has withdrawn its bid to keep showing the programme because it would have cost about £300 million. David Silito reports. It was our first introduction to Kylie, Jason Donovan, and yes, that is Russell Crowe. How should I know? Because you're the one that put him out of business. Scott and Charlene's wedding was a TV landmark, and it changed TV's landscape. If you go back to, you know, 1986 when Neighbours started, you look at the cast of EastEnders then, they were the grimmest looking bunch of people you've ever seen. And then we had these pretty people, and it's sunny, and they've got swimming pools, and they're in and out in each other's houses, and everything's lovely, and everything's sorted out within four episodes. You know, it's, it was a lovely, really sort of warm, sort of friendly thing that, that just drew you in. And even though it's declined from its peak, more than five million people still watch every day. It's the second biggest show on BBC Daytime, and they've just lost it to Channel 5. We were offered Neighbours uh, for a price roughly three times what we've been paying. It would have amounted to uh, nearly £300 million over an eight-year period, and we took the view that was too much. The BBC admits it's a big loss, but it says it creates a new opening in the schedules which could perhaps open the way for a more British alternative to Neighbours. But this is... The end of a long, happy relationship. The problem, as it often is, money. David Silito, BBC News. A look at the time, it is nearly.